Great, so our final two for this afternoon is a mother-daughter duo over there. And we're gonna first hear from Annie. She is a pediatric patient with ADH1. Hi, I just wanna say thank you for you guys being here. It really means a lot. Your dedication to the whole organization, it means a lot. So with that being said, I'm 16 years old and I got diagnosed with ADH1 type, or yeah, type one, at age 10 after my mom had gotten diagnosed and got me genetically tested. The symptoms I was exhibiting I thought were normal since I have it genetically. But as I gained knowledge of the condition, I began to realize that these symptoms were not optimal and improvement was needed. The hard thing about having a genetic condition is knowing no different. Having it your whole life, you don't know what is normal or what is not. I'm an athlete, so it's hard to see my teammates who went through the same exercise I went through be affected less than me. I'm constantly asking friends or people around me if they feel things that I'm feeling just to know if it's a symptom or not. I got prescribed standard of care, which was calcium supplements and vitamin D. Standard of care was not being effective. I'd feel good in the morning, but once it became the afternoon, I'd immediately fall asleep, right after school and even on the weekends. Standard of care isn't an accurate cure because it works differently on every person and differently every day. Hypopair is a very unpredictable condition and hard to cure. Every day, I have to figure out the best time to take my medication and where it can benefit me the best that day. If I take it too early, then I'll crash earlier in the day. But if I take it too late, then I won't feel my best the whole day. I have to make a sacrifice. It was hard to navigate how much to take also because I don't know what my level is. Getting lab results as fast as possible is what I bank on. If I take too much or too little calcium supplements, it'll possibly make me feel worse, making me go high or go low. It's a total guessing game and it varies day to day. There are also so many outside contributing factors that medical providers try to justify my symptoms with. Maybe it's my diet, my activity level, the amount of stress I have for school, or maybe even the amount of sleep I got. I just don't know. If I tell my doctors that I'm not feeling well and I want to know what my calcium is, they tell me to go get my labs in the morning, but that doesn't fix the problem because it won't be the same level in the morning and it won't, it won't work. I want to know what it is now. Like diabetics, they're able to check their uh, sugar levels like instantly almost, and we just aren't able to. The doctors seem to not understand that I'm still a person and not just a number on their screen. They believe that since my calcium level is normal, that I'm perfectly fine, when in actuality I'm suffering with symptoms. Even though my symptoms aren't as severe as others, I still deserve a adequate treatment. I feel like I have to ask permission to treat my symptoms because I don't want to end up in renal failure. I've had kidney stones and I need to be cautious when taking extra calcium. Being kept at a low normal calcium level is not sustainable. I'm an active person and I can't live my life with low normal calcium. I'm honored to be part of a medical trial, but the treatment still isn't optimal at this stage. I'm still exhibiting symptoms and it is affecting my quality of life. Frequent blood draws deprive me of school while being a social person, people often ask me many questions, like why do I have bruises on my arms from frequent blood draws? Why do I have to carry around my pee in a backpack while traveling to San Francisco? <laughs> like what? Um, my hope in participating in a trial is for my data to assist further investigation for treatment. Everyone is different and deserves an adequate treatment plan that improves their condition. In conclusion, I believe various treatment options that suit this community individually can be immensely beneficial. Thank you. Thank you.